I'm John from Proper Printing and in this video I'm going to show how I print nylon and carbon fiber reinforced nylon filament. Uh, I've stored them in these boxes because this material is very hygroscopic. Yeah, it will absorb a lot of moisture out of the air. As a preparation I have made an enclosure for the Ender 3. Yeah, a thing that I have bought in the past for the CR10. A food dryer to place the filament in. Uh, these uh, things are quite affordable. And yeah, you can easily modify them yeah, to dry your filament. So I'm going to make a, yeah, a spool holder out of this filament dryer. and add it to the machine. Yeah, filament dryer, food dryer. Uh, these food dryers, well this particular one comes uh, packed with a uh, Bontec dual drive extruder. Um, um, E3D V6 kit and a uh, Capricorn premium PTFE Bowden tube and of course the actual food dryer itself. This would be the case in an ideal world, but unfortunately we do not live in an ideal world. So yeah, this, this is the version, <laughs> the modified version from, uh, from my CR10. The problem with these uh, things is that they have, well, these grids in between them. So there is no way to put filament in here and I really do not understand why this is done because what else is there to do with the food dryer than drying filament so I have to find a solution to remove this well this grid but the problem with pliers is this material is super brittle so it's very easy to yeah, to make cracks so I have come up with a different method, it's a bit um, experimental and I don't know if it works but that's something we are going to find out. It works in my head so it should work in, uh, in practice. I have an, uh, an old guitar wire, watch your eyeballs. And I want to place this here and well my idea is that if I well, run a lot of current through this wire, it will heat up and melt through this part, leaving out the ring. How do I generate a lot of current? Okay, that thing over there generates 30 to 160 amps. So I think that um, that will get that uh, guitar string to, uh, to glow. Yeah, let's see what happens. I will start at the lowest current, 30 amps, and see if that works. Let's go. <laughs> oh. 
Okay. It did something. Yeah, looks like this is going to work. 30 amps looks like that's uh, that's enough. And it has already started melting. But then the weight of the this clamp just dragged everything down. Okay, I'm going to get a new guitar string and uh, and try it again. Let's try it again. So close! <laughs> now I'll run the current through this last piece of guitar wire and string. Here we go! Oh! <laughs> this is cool! This is awesome! I've managed to make a ring. Well, let's take it off. What kind of channel do you have? Well, it's about 3D printing. What do you do? Oh, I make red hot guitar strings with a welding machine. Okay, I will prepare another wire. I have five left on the guitar. I don't think this is needed. No, that's my neighbor, my neighbor making a lot of noise, unfortunately. But that doesn't keep me from uh, from doing this. Okay, I've used a, um, a different method for uh, for holding down this guitar wire because uh, yeah, the screws uh, well didn't uh, well hold this. So I've used uh, small pieces of guitar wire. So in theory, I can just uh, well turn it on. It's already smoking. Is this a success? Yeah. Do I recommend doing it this way? No. It's still a lot of work and I had to uh, file it uh, down the imperfections. I have already added this output. I yeah, <laughs> completely messed it up, but that's something you will never get to see. I have removed this cap, which is placed here, and I have printed a filament holder with a bearing. Yeah, this is uh, printed out of ABS, that this thing will get 70 degrees at max, and it will deform PLA for sure, but it will also deform PETG. Yeah, this uh, thing is uh, basically finished. The normal nylon material is very slippery. Well, nylon with the carbon fiber in it. I have completely worn down this brass uh, extruder gear. I have placed a blog post on my website. I will put a link into the description with a photo of my uh, extruder gear, which is completely worn down. Uh, the Bontag extruders are steel and they have, um, yeah, it's a double extruder on both sides. So it has way more grip on the filament. So it works for nylon and it's uh, more dur durable so that works for the carbon fiber my in initial idea was to add the extruder on top of the printer so you have your extruder here and you, your print head is yeah moving around in below i did a 
bit more research and found out that that is not the way to go. So I have found another position. Okay, what I've done is I've placed, uh, normally this uh, Bontec extruder is uh, placed at the back with the bracket it uh, comes with if you order that. I have downloaded a, a color yeah, which fits in that E36 uh, piece and on the other side is just the Bowden coupler. My plan is to uh, just add this to here. My plan is to connect the cable like this from the hot end to the extruder and it will uh, I think that it will work. Yeah, I think I need a bit more length. I haven't done it uh, yet, but yeah, there's uh, only one way to find out. So this is the way how I'm going to do it. I have made this. Um, this is a part that I can screw on the side of the printer and I can clamp the Bowden tube in here. Uh, this is going to be placed somewhere here. So the tube is going from there all the way up to here. And then it goes through this top. I'm going to add the filament dryer uh, here on top. I have designed this hot end holder which can hold the E3D V6 hot end. Yeah, it can be placed on the quick tool change I have made in my very first video. And I'm going to use this uh, well, swappable system. I want to use this hot end solely for the engineering materials. Yeah, just the stock hot end for printing PETG and PLA. Okay, this is the most terrifying part. The point of no return. Before cutting this, Make sure that everything is printed correctly if this is your only printer. Okay. Hmm. Okay, the hot end holder is uh, finished. It um well, it took me a little less than an hour. Ah. Add this tool to here. In theory, when I turn on the printer, this will show the temperature the fan is going to run, and I will be able to heat it up. And it's at 25 degrees. Okay, let's set the temperature of the nozzle to 80 degrees just to see if it will heat up. And it does. Okay, nice. 20 euro Bowden tube. Here you go. You know, you can see how I have placed the uh, Bowden tube it's a bit longer okay I have loosened this top plate I've made this special tool yeah to uh, loosen these clips yeah if I disconnect this holder and I turn on the printer it is silent because this fan isn't running and it says minus 14 degrees oh I'm going to add the Bowden tube from the uh, other end of the Bontag to the top. I will uh, upload this to a thingy first. Or 
right. I've made a hole in here with this 12 millimeter drill. First I'm going to add this collar. Okay, and it is a tight fit. I can clamp the top lid on again. Tighten the nut here. I have cut out a piece of this XPS sheet. It must be centered. Now I can press the filament through, pull it here, and then insert it in here. And then I can start printing. I think it's a good idea to print something with nylon. I'm going to print two benches. One with nylon and one with uh, carbon fiber reinforced nylon. The inside of this chamber is around 42, 43 degrees Celsius. That's, um, well, pretty warm. I'm quite happy with that result. This looks like the best benchy I've ever printed. I'm going to let this printer finish and I will make a nice photo of the benches so you can see more into, into detail how they look. I've shown everything, the new hot end the extruder and the filament dryer with a bit of uh, experiment but fortunately it worked otherwise I didn't have a uh, filament dryer. If you want to see more of this, uh, this kind of projects then uh, consider subscribing. Well this printer is almost finished but there are still some things I would like to do with it and if you have any suggestions what I can do to upgrade this machine even further then uh, yeah, don't hesitate to leave a comment with uh, yeah, all suggestions are, uh, are welcome for sure. So, well that's it. I uh, hope you have a really nice day or night and see you in the next video. Bye!